Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Formosa Fantasy and today I'll be giving you this pretty look that I have. This piece is called Feeling the Blues. It's by the artist Fernand and it is 24 by 32 inches. If you're interested in purchasing, check the description box for more info. Okay, beauties, I already did my brows off camera and I used the slim brow, slim brow pencil from Shop Miss A and I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Conceal to carve my eyebrows out. Now taking this P. Louise base in rumor number three and I'll be placing it on my eyelids for prep for the eyeshadow. Now I'm taking my Profusion Cosmetics Festival palette and I'll be taking that light brown shade and I'll be putting that in my crease creating a winged out shape and I'm using a fluffy brush for that. And then there was this young boy that brings me to my heart Going back into the palette and I'm taking that medium brown and I'm going right underneath the first shade that I applied to give it some depth. Using a small tapered brush. Now I'm going back into the palette and I'm taking that taupe shade, a nude shade and I'll be putting that under my arch to highlight my brow, underneath my brow. Then taking the first shade with the fluffy brush and I'm just diffusing everything so that it could be seamless. Taking on the P. Louise base, room number two, and I'll be creating my cut crease with this. Um, take your time doing this. Winged out cut creases can be a little bit challenging at times. Just follow the shape of your crease and then bring it upwards in a curved motion. Then take a blending brush to pat um, off the excess. Going back in the palette and I'm taking that light green, teal green shade and I am applying it on my lids using a shader brush. Now going to my rhinestones, yep, rhinestones, and I'll be placing these on the, the top part where my transition is, where the brown is. So I'm taking the third smallest one on that sheet, and I'm placing it first um, right where the line is for my cut crease, and then uh, Afterwards, I'll be applying the, yes, right now I'm applying the, the second smallest, uh, 
right in between those big ones and then after that I'll be applying the very tiny ones above the medium one so I go from big medium small I find it hard explaining stuff at times so just watching you understand what I'm talking about Oh, I forgot to tell you the glue. I'm using um, a lash glue, a clear lash glue from Shop Miss A. Now taking a matte liquid liner and I'll be creating a long wing liner with this. going back in with my concealer and I'll be doing some highlights on my face which is um, under my eyes my forehead bridge of my nose and my chin Using this BB cream and this foundation, mixing the two. I did a review on these two um, uh, on my channel, so you can go check it out. And I'm taking the mixture and I'll be using it as my foundation. And I'll be using a foundation brush for this. And I'll be overlapping the foundation on the concealer so that the there's a seamless blend. And using my beauty blender to further blend and top off all excess. Now taking my setting powder, which is the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder mixed with the Earspun Translucent, and I'll be placing this all where I put the concealer. Now I'm taking this matte powder and this is going to be for my all over face everywhere that I put the foundation mixture. Mm -hmm. 
same powder using a smaller brush for my forehead. Now taking a small angled brush for my nose. Going in with these two powders, these are dark powders for my contouring by Fit Me. And I'm taking the same brush that I used for my forehead just now, and I'll be contouring the hollows of my cheek, my temples, my jawline. Going in with another loose powder. It is about a few shades darker than what I used to uh, set my concealer and I'll be doing a reverse contour with this. Taking my foundation brush after letting it sit for about 30 seconds and brushing away all the powder and further buffing it into the skin. Even though this is not a blush palette, I'm going back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm taking those two colors, the pink shade and the orangey shade and I'll be using this as a blush. Now I'm just taking my contour brush and whatever that's left on it to further blend everything together. Now using my foundation brush to work it into the skin. Taking this bluish purplish jumbo pencil and I'll be lining my waterline with this, prepping it to put another shadow. Going back into the palette, I'm taking that shimmer bluish purplish shadow and I'll be putting it on my bottom lash line and blowing it out. Taking that setting spray from Shop Miss A and I will be spraying my face then um, buffing it in with my beauty blender. Taking this quad highlighter palette from Shop Miss M using the first two shades on top to highlight my face. So I'm going above my contour and blush, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Look at that highlight. Look at that glow. Yeah. Using all the powders, we want to bring the brows back to life. So I'm going in with a clear brow mascara and I'm also taming my brows to set it how I want it. Y'all see it. You all see it. You know what it is. You see it coming. You know it's a nude lip coming. Yeah, you know a girl love a nude lip. Y'all know it. Now... I'm going in with a brown pencil, lining my lips, so I can go on top of it with gloss.
then this is new i'm taking a another product another pencil from shop miss a and it's a peachish color and i'm going in the middle of all that yay yay diamond glass from shop miss a what it is yep there it is yep there it is <laughs> yeah girl crazy now I'm going over it with my glitter gloss yep shot miss edge you know applying all that gloss all that cakiness this is a trick I like to do I put my finger in my mouth and pull it out yep Thanks, my beauties, for watching till the end. I hope you really enjoy this video. Everything will be linked in the description box for my socials. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Help a girl out. Bye, my beauties.